Um, so this is weird and I do feel a little uncomfortable. I'm not gonna lie. Hey guys, it's Michael Todd and welcome to the Cult of Vintage. Today we are somewhere in Pennsylvania, near York, I'm Columbia, Pennsylvania, maybe. I don't know, don't quote me on that. You'll find out in the description down below, maybe. We are at a brand new place. It is Tollbooth. I've never been here before. We're gonna get inside, see if we can't find anything um, for resale, maybe for collecting, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Here we go. I don't know, I don't know. Is this the door we go in? It's a little nondescript. That's not saying anything because it all counts what's inside. Is this the entire building? I don't know. Let's check it out. I don't even know. There's so much that Oh, sorry. One booth up here, you might really like this 50%. That's what I was, yeah. that's where I walked in and I was, ooh. And stuff. Yeah, that's really. This looks whole. Oh, it is Weller. How much? You're really doing well with the Weller stuff. The older true antiques. 15? We'll get that. So given the size and the fact that we only have, this is so weird that I'm talking in the video. Um, I don't know. We're going to have to really kind of highlight and show things as we're finding them. Because there's no way. There's no way, you guys. This place is massive and there is a lot. And I have a feeling we're going to find some amazing treasures. So I'm going to do the best that I can with showing you around. Um giving you a tour but still trying to really make the most of my time and um jason from other tuckers happens to be here <laughs> so we're gonna look around a little bit and see what we can find that was hilarious i heard somebody was like no way and i was like what great minds think alike amen right? they sure do all right guys here we go let's get it Weller and the Buba. Well, you can barely make it out. I'm gonna get that because it's original Weller. Hey. I don't mind helping another reseller hold It's something. totally okay. I'm so used to this. Part of the whole boat. Um, I got one off of Etsy. Okay. We're talking about a lamp. My figural lamp I wasn't I well I haven't to this point been able to find one so I caved and did the naughty and bought one off of Etsy you might be wondering why are we filming like this because I want to show you the actuality when you are in a place this big and they close in two hours. You could probably spend eight, don't you think? Yeah. Hours in oh. here and not see everything. So, 
We're gonna do our best. These are interesting, but those are not the kind that I'm looking for. Definitely not. No, no. Jason found a basket. I literally had it all in my hands. Here's some Ellie Smith. That's 28. Not bad. All right. I like that, but a little too Regency for me. Let's check it out, guys. Who's it by? It's Marshall, Marshall Studios. Studios. For 90. Yeah. Here we've got some Royal Hager. It is the Gazelle, but we see some damage there. We're missing the ear altogether. Oh, this one's only 12. I mean, I'm not, I can't be mad at it. You know, 12 bites, a missing ear, but still, you know, maybe somebody out there. Not bad. Um, okay, so we're definitely going to snap this up. It is German. It is typically referred to as a fair pig. Um, they have it only, only price at seven. Why does it say as is? Okay, so he's missing the tip of his ear. Um, you see the pig in there? I don't have this one. This is for me personally. That's not bad at all then. So for seven bucks, I can live with the chip. We're going to get that. Ooh. Anybody need a Franciscan, what is the desert rose? Desert rose yeah. uh, I can't. I mean, God love, God bless. It's a look. Those egg, those egg cups, they're hard to find. That's... This is 77 pieces for $385. It can be yours, folks. Here it is. Ooh. Okay, we saw this from the other one. Now, Jason is familiar with this one. It's the Thousand Eyes. Right here. See that there? No, I'm trying to get it. It's not reading, but is it a chip or is yeah, it a manufacturer? You can feel it. It's rough. Yeah, there we go, you guys. And that, unfortunately, that it would definitely slice you. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. dang. You couldn't even sand that. No. What do they have 28 on it? isn't bad. No. I mean, Man. if you were going to collect it, yeah. you know? Yeah, absolutely. But to resell it, yeah. yeah no. Unfortunate. I see these little cuties. Seeing that it's 14. I wonder if that's for this. No, it's individual. No, I would get them if it was for the set, but the sugar looks like it is missing its lid, so we're going to leave those guys behind. All right, so what I'm not showing you guys is a lot of the larger pieces, the furniture. Um, however, I did this on uh, now. This one's new. Is it? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, that's new. Oh, that's so new. Oh, it's Andrew of Isetic. This is still interesting. It's 18. It's got some chipping. Um, you know, again, it's an example of... It might not have the greatest resale value, but if that's something that you love, I mean, I don't know about that. Can you? Uh, well, I guess you can't turn it around. Okay, bad example. But if you loved it and you wanted it, $18 could be yours. So again, just a lot of furniture. Um, I think we kind of covered it in here. I didn't find anything over here. I mean, I did, but not where I would want it to be. So yeah, we're going to move on. All right, guys. So we are headed down into the next part here. Um, keeping in mind, checkout is up here. I came in apparently the back. So uh, this is the front and there are more booths. There is a downstairs, a basement. So we're gonna try to get as much as we possibly can. Okay. Mm. Look at that. Oh my God, it's so much nicer in here temperature wise. <laughs> so here we of course have got a lot of mid-century goodness. Um, we are seeing some Viking down here. Of course, some Lucite grapes. These are priced at 48. Um, not bad, especially for the condition, because a lot of times you're going to find them scuffed up, and that's certainly not how you want to find them. Look at the owl lamp. Great stuff. So this vendor has a few salt and pepper shakers for you to choose from. Um, 
I don't know that I'm really seeing any. You didn't see any, Jason, no, that you were really. Fish. You can see they're not the right color, the brown fish up there. Oh, right here? Yeah. What color should they be? Uh, I would say pink or blue. Okay, okay. Yeah, so. Jason is, okay, so what he's saying is he would like these, but what's going to sell them is the subject matter, the fish, but what's going to take it over is as if they were in a pink or a blue, I think even a good, like, 50s green. Yeah, like a mint green, yeah. misty green. Agreed. Because how many brown fish do you You know see? what? These are kind of, are these new? Yeah, they are. Well, the ceramic art studio, the polar bear, that's a hard one to, to find. Oh, is that ceramic oh, arts? Yeah. We collect those. I just sold the fish. Did you know that? Did you sell the fish? I saw you found the fish. Yeah. You found the Just pointed out, and I did, if you hadn't seen it, purchased the um, the fish. This is ceramic arts out of Minnesota. Yeah. Or Minnesota. No. It's Wisconsin. Not. That's it. I knew it. Madison, was Wisconsin. State. Wait, where's Minnesota from? Well, Minnesota's right next to Wisconsin, same area. Is that a city or a state? Surely we're up in... Um, I legit, I'm just going to tell myself, I legit thought I, Minnesota was a city and not no, a state. No, Minnesota's a state. <laughs> yep. These are great. Well, Marcy's from Minnesota. Oh, but I can't... <laughs> I don't even know Dola, most Minnesota. of the time where I'm from. I'm sorry, you, you, these, these... 18. Oh, that's not bad at all. I think so. You can at least double all that. And that would be even cheap. Are you sure you don't want them? No. I'm going to get these. Okay. I mean, you guys, this is, it's amazing. But I got to be honest with you, trying to film is a little difficult. So I'm, again, I want to give you guys an experience. I want to give you guys what is here, yet it's so difficult. Because I'm afraid of knocking stuff over and... Uh, yeah, you give them an experience of you in the hospital. But I like it right here because there's the yes. heat right here. <laughs> yes. This is good. This is good. It's very good. Yeah. But Jason was just saying, you know that there's good stuff in here, and I agree. Um, the first thing that is really caught my eye, oh man, um, it is as is. It's this gorgeous slag glass lampshade. Unfortunately, we are. Oh, we're missing two panels. It appears. That's unfortunate. Um, this is interesting. There's a neat advertising clock here. This is. I mean, it's everything you got. This is what we're... Blue. <laughs> Not very wide. And that's okay. We're going to do our best. Up here, this is creeping on me, trying to get me. Like, I definitely am not doing this place justice just because I feel like I'm being, I'm not being rushed. I just am rushed, which really stinks. This is definitely a place to, oh, hello, Longa Burger. Again, not my thing, but is this the one you were talking about? Um, it's kind of a little sun faded, but it is gorgeous. It looks like all of the paneling is still, if we peek up underneath here, yep, all the panes seem to be there. Okay. We've got rugs and a guitar. We're just going to go sideways here. You guys can stare at that stuff. Ooh, look at this old spelter clock here. Good heavy one. Seems that it's 18, the price tag fell off, but I like it. It freaks me out a little bit. I don't even know if we can get all the way to the back. 
I love it, like truthfully. It excites me because I'm like, oh, let's go creeping. He's interesting. Um, this stuff looks a little newer to me, so. Okay, let's see. Ooh, okay, okay. We're gonna. Well, I'm giving you guys an experience. Have some like that. Um, there's the Baileys. Those do pretty good. They're 25 each, so I don't want to go with those. Do what? Yeah, it's 25 for a set, too. Standard. They're the regular ones. I like this. It would definitely bring out the color of your eyes. <laughs> Not my real aesthetic, but... Okay. We made it through! Um, I don't know. One or the other. We'll kind of see here what some dolls. Anything over here? here guys right, guys we are about to head downstairs whoa look at that mm -hmm. you could be a beetle let's do it yeah. i spotted christmas holy moly it is cold down here uh, not what we're looking for though Welcome jason's upset that i did not get the macrame angel but look you guys jason will have a macrame angel it's half off christmas items Tina's going to kill me, but I will have a macrame angel. Uh-oh, Tina. I got it on video. Don't, don't leave the body anywhere. Um, so this is weird, and I do feel a little uncomfortable. I'm not going to lie. I don't know that I want to get lost in here. Okay. Ah, they're everywhere. They're freaking me out, man. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Please, please, please have a copyright on it, please. Okay, so this is Frank Art. What I was looking for were two particular things. One, ideally, I wanted to see the patent date on it. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to see a patent date on it. The next thing that I was looking for was the manufacturer Sarsaparilla. So in the late 80s, a company called Sarsaparilla acquired the rights to reissue Frank Art, and they were using the original molds. Now, I'm not seeing that either. I don't know. I will say that this shade is lovingly referred to as the brain shade. Um, this can go for like $100 just by itself. Doesn't blow, does it? Um, I don't think it does. It may actually. I'm gonna think about this a little bit. Okay, I'm seeing some more Frank art pieces over here. So this would have been part of a lamp. Okay, so they do have sarsaparilla on this one. Okay, so she would have had a shade, a like a flat glass shade to create a silhouette. This is sarsaparilla. I can tell that right now. Um, oh, yeah. Well, maybe not. No, that is sarsaparilla. No? Let me, hold on, guys. All right, guys, we can see it's 1982, so it is sarsaparilla. And that's okay, because I'm going to tell you what. Even the sarsaparilla stuff has got a tremendous amount of value 
on it. I'm not seeing a price on her or if it was 40 for the boat. Now this beast back here is absolutely stunning. I don't know the manufacturer of it, but that is of course a clear with the opalescent. So now this vendor has really piqued my interest that they've got some interesting things, including this little frog here looking German. 20 will pass. So we'll see what else we can't find. Now this little guy here is peeking out at me. I mean, you're calling it a 60s. I can see a 60s. I can see it leaning a little bit earlier. I think that goes with the salt and pepper. Do you always seem to say Florida? Hey guys, shell animals. <laughs> Nothing compares to you, raw chicken shell elephant. Nothing compares. Okay, what piece are we freaking out over right now? If it in fact is, the color looks about like it's on point. Can you point to it, guys? Um, ooh, ooh, oh my God, I wonder how much it is. It's probably gotta be like $300. No, it's $465. We are not mad at that. That is a Van Briggle. It is, of course, two separate pieces, so you do have your flower frog in the middle here. That is in your Ming glaze. Beautiful. Stunning. Oh my goodness. She's lovely. She is lovely. Giant elef er, elephant. Wow. Giraffe. Giraffe. And a baby. That is epic. Oh, it is leather, huh? Let's see. Lordy. That's impressive. Mm -hmm. Oh, can't get them all the way in. Oh wow, she is boho, huh? Wicker and brass. We've got the different textiles. Great layout, 20% off everything in the booth. Very bohemian. We've got artwork over here, you guys. We've got a few swung vases in amber, or is this? Not straddling the line of smoke and amber, pardon me. Gotta check out the bottoms, of course. All right, let's see what else we can find. It's got a pink dot on it, 75% off. Ooh, pink dot, 75% off. see much guys i mean i see stuff but it's not exciting me all right guys here is everything that we got i will do the final wrap up oh yes of course we cannot forget her <laughs> i'll do the final wrap up outside guys see you there oh well guys no no i totally didn't wrap it up because i totally forgot to do the wrap up so we're gonna do it now darn it well, I had a great time. I hope that you guys did enjoy today's video. Um, it, that was really crazy that I ran into Jason from Mother Tucker's. But like you said, great minds think alike, folks. Yes, they do. Which is a scary thought in and of itself when you really think about it. Yes. So anyhow, guys, until next time, remember, keep it rusty, crusty, and dusty. Bye, guys.